the Torah says that Adam was male and female. Then he fell asleep, and the Abishta separated the man from the woman, and now all of a sudden there was a male and a female, separate human beings. Immediately after that, Hashem tells them that they should get married and become one. They were one. Hashem separates them and then tells them to become one. That sounds strange? But you see, the same is true with the whole creation. The neshama is one with the Ebershter. But the neshama is sent down <coughs> into this world and becomes separate. And then the Ebershter gives us Torah and mitzvahs so that we can become one with him. We were one with him. But there are some very important things that we learn from this. Number one, why do men and women need each other? For what? What the Torah is telling us here is that the reason men and women need each other, the reason a man is attracted to a woman, is because it's not natural to be male without female. And it's not natural to be female without male. Because Adam was created male and female. That's our true nature. The separation, that's, that's unnatural. So that's why we have to get married to go back to our original nature. And that's why a man has to marry a woman. Contrary to popular opinion. <laughs> because the only reason for getting married is to go back to our original nature, which is to be both male and female. So when you get married and you become a couple, you become an us, then you are male and female. You literally become one. And why is it possible for two human beings to become one? Because our original nature was one. So it's harder to be two than to become one. Because being two is unnatural and being one is natural. That is the magic and the power of marriage. Now, where does love come in? Where do feelings come in? The person you become one with, you're going to love. Or you're going to need to love. It'll be helpful if you love. But the purpose is not love. The purpose is oneness. To be complete. To be a whole mensch. And when you're doing that, you should do it with love. Now, why does God separate us and then tell us to become one? when he made us one and can leave us that way? Because the whole purpose of creation is that we should become what we're supposed to be by our own choice. And that's why we have the freedom not to get married. We have the freedom to be married and then get divorced. Because the oneness, the ahdus, the yichud, has to be voluntary. Just like our connection to the ebishter has to be voluntary. Because if it's not voluntary, then it's not a real connection. A real connection has to come from both directions. He has to want to be one with you, and you have to want to be one with him. If he just makes you one with him, that's not a relationship. 